you can insult me because the bible says that give what belongs to caesar to caesar you can insult me i will give you time for you to insult me after you giving me some time insult me after some time when you finish insulting me i will come after you because i will never ever close my eyes the bible says we should not fold our hands and look at those nonsense insults from today now on anywhere you are watching me you insult me i will give you time to insult me but right now those all those who are insulted me get ready for me i'm yes. ready for you people i hear you my people, we have another thing to say. Am I talking to somebody? You are talking to us, Papa. Prophet Jeremiah, a lot of stuff. Messy man, matter. Don't they circulate for inside social media? Not be smart. Hmm. This video, when I want to talk about, so now about the video, will be say, show sure, let go visit, uh, Apostle Castle Chiku for, uh, for the detention when he did. As he reached there, my correct, correct people, the matter he can't get as he be. He get as he be because when you arrest somebody you would need to take that person to court for courts to decide whether the case where you arrest the person for whether the person they're guilty or not but this our country nigeria this fake country where we get can't become say anybody can just give order for somebody to be unlawful detained will tax giving that person a trial this matter now between apostle kastichuku and prophet jeremiah omoto fufu these people are these people call themselves men of God who are not fighting themselves. They they fight themselves. When I see the first video when he play, when uh, uh, Prophet Jeremiah they talk about say people will be say they insult him in the past. Say he's, he's ready now, fully ready to deal with them. He's not preaching about love. He's preaching about war, which is very wrong as a man of God. I know no people where they tell them or they advise him this kind of advice of fish. The Bible says, leave the fight for God. By even Jesus Christ himself, in the time of Jesus Christ, according to the Bible, they crucify him. They call him fake. They call him all sort of name. But Jesus Christ do not fight. To the extent before they can't crucify, he can't die for our sin. Jesus Christ do not fight. But I was so surprised to see that men of God are not fighting themselves, arresting themselves, giving even to the extent of telling the, the, the policemen or the DSS not to allow any family member of this apostle Kasi Chiku make a visitor or make a reach the police station. Or, or I don't know what I will call it. Oh, show sure let hear this matter. Or more year or show yeah this matter now it comes okay make it come the place for Abuja the way they carry from Benin come so okay make it come see and make it hear what did happen for this matter behold my people you reach them they make come make come make come make come they can't give street orders make it not see them and the one funny part of it be said they say this man is where they detain that this man has not eaten they give full full with streets they make they not allow her eat way to prophet jeremiah you see anybody where he insults you in the past you want to deal with the person this man you are dealing with now fine he insulted you but to this extent you are going it is very wrong in christian body if this man something mistakenly happened to this man as you are giving strict order for this man not to eat or not to allow the family member to see this man or not to take this case to court it's just that nigeria is a fake country a big fake country this kind of nonsense cannot happen in west western world it cannot happen who are you to give order that they should not take the person to court when they arrest you in any crime you committed the next day or the next two day you, you will see yourself in court it's court that will decide your case not any other person if you are good, guilty you go for it if you are not guilty you'll be free but for nigeria because of it's a lawless country where we say no law anybody can just give order because you have the full power or you are highly connected you are wanting or the other so my country people now see me can come knock on this matter because this one is very bad in christian body you say two of niger wala fine you arrested him the first time you arrested him the second one you arrested him again the third time to the extent of giving them order not to allow him to eat if you can't cry for them what will be your gain what will you say the word? What will you tell the God Almighty you people are serving? That because he, he, he spoke bad against you on social media, that is why you, you hala salvation to, to, to kill him in, inside him, in the test you people put him. So my country people, I say, make a con knock on this matter. Make on a seal, say, on my show, try your best. Even buy food, go give them. They refuse. 
to collect the food for him, they say they will not allow him to eat. Or in the name that he insulted a, a prophet Jeremiah on Mount of Fufu. Even God Almighty said people they insult him. If we God look into our sin as we did the sin against God every day by day, even the uh, prophet Jeremiah himself, uh, nobody will see the next day. But they say God is not a man. So see you for my next video. Drop your comments. See you for my next video. Bye bye for oh, now. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We are at uh, the police station. We came here to check on uh, Kasi. Pastor, Pastor Kasi Chuku. Chuku, who was detained here. Apparently, he's been detained here by another pastor. The thing is, this is a problem with the Nigerian police. They have turned the police force into a joke. Somebody can just call a DIG or a CP or a I guess somebody detained. So we came here to look for him, uh, ensuring that his rights are not violated. And uh, when we got here, of course, the moment they saw me, they started making calls. Now they said, uh, I cannot see him. We even went and bought food, you know, so that we can give to him. They said we can't give him the food after they made all their contacts. Uh, we just want to report back that we haven't been able to see Kasi Chuku. Uh, when this case was brought to my attention, I was told that it was a case of, um, it was politically motivated. Uh, and that's why I was asking for the details. But when I got here, I discovered that uh, it's one of those very despicable cases where people are just thrown into detention because they have connection. And you know, I can't stand, whether you are a pastor, you are a senior police officer, a politician, just deploy the police to detain people without charges. It was brought from Benin. No charges preferred uh, against him up Let's to hold this food, yes. let them be seeing uh, this thing. Like, I, don't, no, I, don't know, I don't know I don't know Cassie before. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I'm not interested in the local politics of why he was detained. But it's despicable that anybody in Nigeria will be detained. Will be detained you know, in a police facility because of connections of other pastors, politicians, all of them. Uh, as you can see, he came at the FCI here. In Abuja, this is uh, their headquarters. I was detained here before myself uh, for reasons that were peculiar to this. Uh, the government said I participated in a peaceful protest. So, some incidents took place here. Uh, when, uh, from when you arrived, yes. What was the atmosphere like? Like, well, the, when I first arrived, of course, uh, I know that the got a little bit alarmed that I'm here. Yeah. Uh, but one of the police officers who to reveal his identity, started speaking in his local language that uh, if I'm allowed to go inside the place, they will be in trouble. And that the person who allows me in should take responsibility for allowing me to see Kasi. This is what they do when they have something to hide. Uh, then later on, they reached out to us and said, if we have food to give to him, we should come and buy food. We went out and brought this food. I was able to take it into him because I heard he hasn't eaten for a long time. Uh, he has not been granted access to his family members. Uh, they are all in the room. They brought food and they are called more of their bosses. And they are given an order. One of them even said that there's an order not to let you. And they didn't even know where they let that one out. Yes. And so they were said there's an order <laughs> not to let you in yes. to see. I asked him, is there an order by any police officer in Nigeria that says she will arrest you not visit somebody in detention? He then started changing his but i know that is what has happened their bosses have been since i arrived here we've seen all kinds of movement some of their bosses have come in and gone but we still there take our time to ensure that we get to the bottom of this but i just want to report we'll back still, we'll still, uh, we'll i just want to report back to to you guys that yeah. i have done what is necessary to reach uh, uh Kasi Chuku, the pastor who has been at this point illegally detained and yes, yeah, 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 the truth means that it is the only factor these people fear in Nigeria. Because if someone they could have compromised, I believe they would have just let him go and then sort out themselves 
at the back and I want to thank you so much my brother no problem for everything for yeah. being for being there for us and for being there for the next few years and for not allowing people to use yeah. the power of the state against another and it's just to say it's regardless of who is involved you know uh, I will stand up for anybody that's legally detained or anybody who is abusing power uh, in the course of uh, their duties a police officer an army officer customs immigration uh, civil defense they are all existing at the mercy of the public taxpayers and they have no right to abuse their powers i have been a victim of the woman, police uh, attack uh, many times i've been unjustly detained and i know what they do uh, when people don't have families they don't have relatives or when they have connections you know i have uh, been able to pull out people here who were detained by uh what is this guy called uh, several of the billionaires uh, of four. yes a maker of four uh Ato 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 sorry uh pastor suleiman when he yes. detained uh, israel good news here yeah. we got him out so uh this is not different for me so we'll keep following up and ensure that uh, he's not detained beyond uh a reasonable period as allowed by the law which they have already violated but it's their own interest to also release them immediately. That's my request. So they will take it from there.